Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and I make weekly finance and lifestyle videos. The best financial tip that I ever got was live below your means. And I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but I want to break that down to what that actually means, what that looks like in practice, some tips for you guys if you want to live below your means. So let's get into the video. What does it mean to live below your means? And there's living below in your means and then there's living within your means. So living within your means is mean you are living at least, number one, your expenses are equal or less than how much money you're bringing in. So if you bring in $50,000 a year and you are expensing $49,000 a year, that's technically living within your means. Anything that is equal to or less. Now, what is living below your means? So living below your means is means your expenses is less than how much money you earn. So if you earn $50,000 a year, like I said before, and you are spending $45,000 a year, you are living below your means. You might just be saving $5,000, but your expenses are not exceeding your income. And why is this important? Well, we all have financial goals. We all have saving goals. We all have things we want to spend money on. And the best way to do this is to live below your means. The more you live below your means the better you will be able to reach your financial goals and your financial goals might be different for everyone like I watch a lot of videos about like frugal living and like living a zero expense lifestyle and I would love to say that I could do that but I live in Washington DC I'm not gonna move to you know a city that's more affordable because my life here is right you know it is where it is right now and so I want to share with you some tips that I use to live below your means that are actually applicable the reason that it's really important to master this concept is because as hopefully you go on in your career in your life you are going to be making more money you know this is just natural for somebody if you're making twenty thousand dollars a year at some point you're going to be making twenty five thousand dollars a year and what happens with this is lifestyle inflation so I'm sure you guys have kind of heard what this is but let's break it down so lifestyle Lifestyle inflation is as you make more money, your lifestyle becomes more expensive. So say you're making $50,000 a year and right now your expenses are $40,000 a year. Let's just do that for you know easy math because no math majors over here. And then you get a promotion, which is fantastic. And now you're making $60,000 a year. But all of a sudden, now you're spending $50,000 a year. And so your savings, even though you're making $10,000 more, are the exact same and so living below your means is really important because as you go on in your life and you make more money you want to make sure that you're still living below your means you're still not getting into the trap of lifestyle inflation as you make more money um, your expenses to start to go up and that does not mean to say you know if you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year you should still be living like you are forty thousand dollars a year that would be great but we know life is meant to be enjoyable so we want to reach financial freedom but also we are people we want to enjoy our life you know when I started making more money I got a dog because I really wanted a dog but um, that was just something previous that I couldn't afford the expenses of that the first thing to figure out how to live below your means is to understand understand how much income you have a year and it's easy to say you know I make fifty thousand dollars a year and I'm sorry I keep pushing that number out I just think it's easy to break down because it's so you know equal um, but yes how much money you make a year but how much money are you bringing in each month so after all your deductibles after all you know your 401k savings how much is the money each month after you figured out your income every month, you want to see your average expenses. So what I did was I looked between like three to six months to get a good sense of how much money I was spending each month. So say, you know, if you're making $3,000 a month, you have standard expenses that you can't change. That could be your rent, your mortgage, you know, utilities, these things that are consistent every single month, like you can change them, but we'll get into that later but say your expenses when it comes to your rent and utilities are fifteen hundred dollars a month okay that's standard the last six months it's going to be standard the next um, six months so if you deduct that from your income you are left overall with fifteen hundred dollars each month and so how are you going to live below your means of that how can you save as much money as possible while also while making sure you meet your financial goals but you know having an enjoyable life because I'm not sitting here being like you can't ever go out again because you need to retire at 45 um, figure out how much money you can spend each month you are left with $1,500 each month 
how much are you spending on groceries how much are you spending on going out how much are you spending on shopping look at the last six months and figure out how you can cut costs to make sure that you are living below your means as much as possible that is best for you so yeah that is the most important thing you need to know is to live below your means to reach your financial goals to reach financial freedom to make sure that you are saving as much money as possible and once you figure out how much you're making each month how much of your expenses are coming out that you can't change you can figure out where you can cut costs to even more lower below your means so these are some of the strategies that I use so number one everyone always talks about this look at your grocery bill look at your grocery bills the last three to six months to see if there's kind of you know up and down of where you're spending your money for me what really helped was reducing how much I eat out I grew up actually not eating out that much it was like a treat in my family where we would eat out on Fridays but my husband like loves eating out and so I noticed just from us living together because he would always suggest it like I'm just blaming him right now I ended up even eating out quite a bit like two to three times a week which is not what I used to do and I was noticing once I go through my grocery bill you know I'm spending $60 on groceries every week but then on top of that I'm spending like a hundred dollars eating out because we're constantly eating out that is a way that I can cut costs easily even if I just cut it in half say one to two times a week limit it to one your monthly expenses significantly decrease with that so look at your grocery bill see if there's like some fluctuation if there's any way that you can cut corners next thing I cut out to try to even more live below my means is subscription services this is really normal for a lot of people to have different types of subscriptions especially given the climate right now where we are not going anywhere I looked at the subscriptions I was using and I was really thinking about if I was getting the most bang for my buck so some of the ones I cut out was YouTube TV um, I'm not a person that really watches TV I watch Netflix or I do watch Survivor that's the only thing I watch on YouTube uh, TV but I wasn't really using it and it's $45 a month and the reason that we had it is because both my husband and I watch a lot of sports and obviously there's no sports on which I mean it might be coming back with no fans but um, we just canceled YouTube TV so that's $45 a month don't really miss it because I maybe watched it like once a week if that and it cut down our expenses quite a bit so the next way I cut my expenses um, to live below my means even th further is I stopped shopping so much so I like shopping I mean I love shopping I'm not gonna lie I love shopping at lululemon I love you know buying new season new clothes to like freshen up my wardrobe but like it's it's not a necessity so I was spending maybe a hundred dollars a month on just random clothes like I bought new loungewear I bought new running shoes because mine were so beaten up which I guess that's kind of like a necessity but I was shopping quite a bit and when I looked back at my expenses over the last six months I was like oh you know I'm shopping basically every month and so I tried to cut that out to every other month so if I do need some things I write it down and I think about like do I really need this and I hated when people would say that like think about if you need it and I'm like I'm gonna think about every time I buy something at Sephora, but it really does help. If you write something down and you think about, you know, I really want this, these are the reasons why, you wait on it for a week, a lot of the times it just kind of goes away or you realize like I want it but I don't need it so think about the things that you're buying see if you can cut any corners and minimize the amount of shopping that you're doing every year so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I just wanted to make a quick video about like why you should live below your means why it's been the most effective for me living below your means has been the number one thing that has helped me the most to budget my money because just understanding you know this is my monthly income and this is how much money I want to be saving each month and minimizing your expenses every single month really helps you have a larger safety net so given everything that's going on with covid it's really important to have enough cushion in case you lose your job your spouse loses your job something happens where your lifestyle really changes you don't want to have your expenses to be higher or just as high as your income if all of a sudden you lose your income i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what kind of financial um, videos you want to see I love talking about money I just love talking about budgeting and I'd really like to hear some feedback from you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time